sulfur for oxide. It gives water. And sulfur, three moles of sulfur in solid states. So this reaction justifies the reaction of hydrogen sulfide with sulfur four oxide to give water and sulfur. Test and use of hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is tested by moisting a piece of filter paper with lead 2 trouser nitrate 5 solution and drop it into the gas jar of the unknown gas. If the gas is hydrogen sulfide, the paper turns black due to the formation of lead 2 sulfide. What are we saying here? When you have hydrogen sulfide plus lead 2 trisonitrate, the gas, and this is aqueous. When, when this is moistened with this, PBS, that's lead sulfide, which is black, plus H2NO, HNO3, 2. So this is what account for the black, black nature is as a result of lead to sulfide. Uses of hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is used in the analysis of ores and metals. Sulfur so 4 oxide. Sulfur so 4 oxide preparation. It is prepared by the action of sodium sulfate 4 on hydrochloric acid. Then the reaction to justify this sodium trousers sulfate 4 aqueous plus hydrochloric acid gives. Sodium chloride plus H2O plus sulfur 4 oxide gas liquid. So, this is the balance equation for the reaction of sodium trisulfate 4 with hydrochloric acid, and sulfur 4 oxide is one of the by products. Physical properties of sulfur four oxide. One, it is a colorless and poisonous gas. Two, it is very soluble in water. Three, it is about 2.5 times denser than air. Four, it is easily liquefied under pressure of about three atmosphere at room temperature. When we talk about room temperature, we are talking about 25 degrees Celsius. That is the room temperature, which is also known as 298 in Kelvin. Sulfur so 4 oxide, chemical properties. It reacts with alkaline to form sodium trouser sulfate 4 and water only. And the equation of this, a typical alkali that it reacts with is sodium hydroxide, aqueous, plus sulfur, four oxide, gas. Here, you have the formation of sodium trouser sulfate four, plus water. So this is the formation of sodium trouser sodium trouser sulfate 4 plus water. So when sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfur 4 oxide, sodium trouser sulfate 4 is being
produce as one of the byproduct alongside with water. Two, it reacts with iron 3 chloride in water to give iron 2 chloride, tetrahydrochloric acid, acid, and hydrochloric acid. So, iron 2 chloride, iron 3 chloride, sulfur 4 oxide gas plus iron 3 chloride aqueous in water liquid to give iron 2 chloride plus hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride then plus H2SO4 aqueous here it is saying that acid two acid are produced in this system you have hydrochloric acid and H2SO4 which is tetrahydrochloric six acid that is ion 3 chloride being reduced to ion 2 chloride alongside with the respective acids direct combination reaction it combines with lead four oxide and sodium peroxide to give their respective salts lead four oxide plus so2 gives pb so4 so this is what is known as direct combination it does the same for sodium peroxide to give sodium sulfate. So these reactions are known as direct combination where the sulfur oxide is combined directly with the respective compounds to give the respective salts. It acts as an oxidizing agent on its reaction with hydrogen sulfur to give water and sulfur so here when sulfur four oxides react with hydrogen sulfate you have water plus sulfur being formed in this process so this is the oxidizing ability of sulfur four oxide is because of its ability to react with hydrogen sulfide to give water and sulfur. Tests and uses of sulfur for oxide. It is tested by bumbling the unknown gas through solution of potassium tetraoxomanganate 7. If the unknown gas is sulfur for oxide, the purple color of the solution becomes colorless. The ion in the potassium tetraoxomanganate 7 is MnO4 minus, which account for the purple color. If the gas is SO2, it is being reduced to M2, M2 plus, which is colorless. So this is an indicative of sulfur for oxide uses it is used to make tetrahydrosulfate 6 acid 2 it is often used to destroy termites 3 it is used as a bleaching agent because of its oxidizing ability 4 it is it's formed its liquid form is used as refrigerants. Five, it is used as preservative. Sulfur so six oxide. Sulfur so six oxide is one of the oxides of sulfur. How is it prepared? Preparation. It is prepared by mixing sulfur so four oxide with oxygen, then first dried by passing it through. Concentrated tetrahydrosulfate, uh, concentrated tetrahydrosulfate 6 acid. And finally, the gaseous mixture 
is passed over heated catalysts. The reaction to justify the preparation of sulfur 6 oxide. Sulfur 4 oxide gas, two moles of it, combining with oxygen gas, the reaction is reversible to produce sulfur 6 oxide gas. Here you have concentrated H2SO4 and vanadium 5 oxide. The essence of the concentrated H2SO4, which is tetrasulfic 6 acid, is to dry the gas. Why this acts as catalyst by speeding the rate of reaction such that sulfur 6 oxide is produced? Properties, physical properties. It has a low boiling point. It vaporizes on gentle eating. 3. It reacts with water reversibly to give tetrasulfate 6 acid. 4. It reacts with tetrasulfate 6 acid to form oleum. To describe what is oleum, oleum is formed when tetrasulfate 6 acid reacts with water. And the reaction to justify that is H2SO4, which is tetrasulfate 6 acid, aqueous, plus water, liquid. Here, yeah, when these two combine, they give oleum. Oleum is H2SO4. 